Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Blood and Steel. Now, we have arrived back at Tyr, as my initial plan is to actually declare war against the Kingdom of Swadia, and to take them out of the game before we actually head on to taking out the Armies of Darkness, or potentially trying to siege one of their towns. I thought it might be quite a good idea to take out one of the other factions first, and maybe secure our territory a little further before we actually attempt to potentially lose our army, who knows, but yes, here we are, we are going to speak to Beheshtur, of course, and we will be declaring war upon King Harlaus. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, we are now at war with them, very easy indeed, okay. So as you can see there in the castle as well, we do have a lot of companions waiting there. I'm actually wondering whether I should just take all of them as vassals, because as you can see we still have Dashavi, Mateld, Bunduk, and Nizar here, and they are, I think, a little bit bugged. I don't think they are actually going to move. I have given them castles and so forth, so not entirely sure what's going on there, but anyway, we are going to be heading to Uxkarl. That is our target, and hopefully we'll be able to take it, and then maybe head on to Teverin Castle and the other Swedian fiefs here. So, I will cut away while I make the journey. Okay, so we have arrived at Uxkarl, and as you can see we have Count Rochabarth right behind us there. He is about to enter Uxkarl, as you can see, traveling to Uxkarl he is, and I think we are going to be intercepting him. Now, I am a little bit skeptical about why he doesn't actually have an Aleph in his party. I think it probably was taken out in a fight that he just had. Of course, he is still 100% HP, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but it seems as though his Aleph was taken down. So, let's go in and test our might versus him. He does, of course, have a very, very low force in comparison to us in terms of numbers. And I suppose it would not be too good for us to let him in, so yes, we are going to intercept him and take him down 252 of his against, yes, yeah, 619 of ours. Yes, this is going to be rather swift to defeat for him, I think. Well, yes, let's hold our horses, shall we? Let's not get too overconfident. That is always my downfall in these particular situations. So, let's actually just take a look at where he is actually coming from as well. Okay, so he's over there, I believe. Yes, there he is. He is actually crossing the swamp. Can I call it a swamp? I can't really call it a swamp, can I? No. <laughs> well, it's a mini lake. How about that? Yes, mini lake. That's what we'll do. Yes, okay. So, I think, actually, we should get over here as quickly as we potentially can. Yes, my cavalry is coming. And I actually want to hold position with our archers here. Get our infantry there, I guess. And... Now, I will charge in my cavalry right now, so they can deal with the rather advanced teams that the enemy is now sending towards us. Hopefully they will kill them rather swiftly, enough time for our archers to actually catch up at least, and maybe they can assist us. So as soon as they take out the initial advanced forces, we will be... Oh, we're actually losing quite a few people here. Oh no. They have lances! Oh no, this is not good. And now the enemy is breaking ranks. This is never a good thing. I am taking out all of their horses, though. We are the Horse of Slayer, after all. Yes. So, <laughs> okay. Well, let's get our cavalry back here now. We will hold position with them now. Hopefully we won't lose any others. And our archers, as you can see, are now firing across the way there. I think we'll move them a little bit closer. A few Templar Paragons are actually being taken down here. That is a little upsetting to see. Yeah. Come on, take him down, take him down. He is a Swadian Grimshield. Or never mind, he is Count Rochabarth himself. Oh my goodness. I was expecting him to be a Swadian Grimshield and give me a lot of XP, but unfortunately he's just a regular vassal. And he didn't give me that much XP at all, which is actually really strange. Oh well. Okay, it seems as though... They are now sending in the rest of their cavalry to no avail, though. We will now be sending in our cavalry and infantry as we now have Aleph support, even though that probably wouldn't have made any difference, but it would be nice considering our cavalry is going to be moving incredibly slowly in this water right here. As you can see, I am myself moving very slowly as well. 
Come on, let's take him down. There we are, and oh my. Okay, have to be careful of. Ouch. Yes. I have to be careful of. Ouch. That is definitely what we need to watch out for. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on, take him down. Yes, there we are. Halberdiers. They are incredibly powerful. Oh my. Okay, well, there we are. That was a very swift victory, as I had hoped. And now we can move on to the. Oh. Well, I suppose we can just charge them now. They do only have 35 remaining. That is a little unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to take out the castle post-haste. We do need to take it out and capture it. And oh my, this is not going to be very fun fighting on a bridge. Oh, especially with spears. No. <laughs> okay, there we are. Take down a few of them. And now the enemy is breaking ranks and charging. And for some reason, my horse is stuck. No. Okay, there we are. We're fine. And... This horse is absolutely amazing. It can pretty much just run into people and do damage. Oh my goodness. Let's see how much damage it does to the... Okay. Well, <laughs> I was hoping to see how much damage it would do anyway. But it seems one of our cataphract units, or maybe an Aleph or something, took it out before we were able to get there. Hmm. How unfortunate. Oh well, and he does manage to escape, which is also unfortunate. Although I was going to let him go anyway. Would have been nice to gain some relation back with him. Uh, oh well. Next time, hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Okay, that is fine. And I will level up my units outside here. Oh, another Holy Charger. That's pretty nice. Okay, more black gauntlets. Ah, not bad, I must say. Now, this helm is actually better, I must say, but as you can see this armor goes so well with this. If I had the armor piece that actually went with this helmet, then I would be wearing that, no problem at all. I mean, it is only five armor, I suppose, so yeah, not too big a deal, but it does actually sell for a very large amount as well, which is actually very useful indeed, because obviously my wages are incredible. So yes, look at that, 56,000, nearly 57,000 even. Oh my, okay, well, we have 232 Rusky Soldat Elites. That is rather impressive. Okay, let's get some Mercenary Cavalry, because they will become Templar Paragons. That is the way to do it. And I suppose now we will begin the siege against Uxkal. Now, just a small note here before we head in. If we are defeated here, that is going to be not very surprising, considering they have nine Alephs. Yes. Nine of them. Oh no. Okay, well, let's see it. This is the only town that they have remaining, I believe, at least. Yes, if we take a quick look there, that is the only town they have. This would be good to take. Okay, let us now lead our soldiers, and we will hopefully be able to prevail in these circumstances. Of course, it might help if we don't get killed by the Aleph immediately. Oh my. Oh my. Careful. I do want to survive in this particular battle. It would be a little disappointing, to say the least, to not be able to attack some of their Alephs in person. And oh my. Okay. Okay. This is actually very unwise. <laughs> yes. I would say it's very unwise. Oh no. Okay. Well, I can only hope that, yeah, something tells me we're not going to make it, are we? Nope. We are not going to make it. Well, that is very impressive to say the least. And I did say there were nine Alephs stationed here. As you can see, they are pelting us to no end. Now, I'm hoping that because of the amounts of units that we're currently funneling in here, that we might be able to reach them. Something tells me no. Ah, interesting. This is not too good. We would have actually been able to win if our units had reached the walls faster. But because they had two walls here, I think we were a little outmatched. Ah. Well, that's rather interesting. I think I'm actually going to retreat here before all of our units get taken out, because, 
yeah, it would actually be better to retreat rather than get killed. And as you can see, our casualties are astronomical. 119 of us were killed. Ouch. Well. Yeah, we actually lost an Aleph as well. Okay. Well, we are going to abandon this siege for now. This is... Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll have to come back with more Alephs, that is for sure. We will have to come back with more Alephs and hope that they actually do a reasonable job. Now, as you can see, our morale is terrible. So we'll have to win a suitable battle shortly, otherwise we will be having quite some issues. Maybe we could fight these merry men. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Seeing as my initial plan was to take Axkar and then Teverin, I think we will go to Teverin now and take that instead. Because that will secure this bit of territory here, I suppose. And so, I will cut away on the way there. Okay, so, to cut a long story short, we actually had some interloping Swedian vassal attempting to take Suno. Now, they almost succeeded as well, because I arrived and they were just in time to escape before I was able to intercept, and they made their way this way. So I followed them, and then it said in the text box that there were a great host of enemies spotted near Tyr. So now, as you can see, we have Count Despin here. I believe he was the fellow that was sieging Suno, and we will be taking him on. He does have a vastly superior army to us, as you can see, he does have 1,028, we have only 486, so I'm hoping we will be able to pull this off in more ways than one, because, yes, as you can see, he is very powerful indeed. So, let's do it. Now, the best thing about this, which is actually going to help us a lot, is the fact that... Oh, yes. It seems our vassals have actually joined in the fray as well, but apart from that, is that it's going to give us a lot of morale, and that is going to help us out no end, because as you saw previously, we lost all of our morale from actually retreating at Uxkarl. So that was not too fun at all. But now we are hoping, I am hoping specifically, that we will be able to do this, because obviously we are outnumbered, very severely, as you can see on the mini-map there. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is a very large amount of red right there. Now they are charging already, because our Alephs are tearing them a new one, as it were. And hopefully our Templar defenders and so forth will be able to beat them back with their arrows. And yes, I am, suffice it to say, a little bit worried. Which is... May be unjustified, because as you can see, our LFs are completely destroying them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so... <laughs> it seems as though they only have 129 remaining. That was actually... Very quick indeed. I suppose we will be charging everyone in now. I am... Yeah, actually very surprised by this. Well, I'm hoping that we'll be able to... Charge in and win, I suppose? Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, it seems as though there's not many remaining. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, there we are, I suppose. Hmm. I was expecting something completely different, mind you. I was expecting them to rush up to us and do rather severe amounts of damage, but it seems as though that was not the case this time around. Usually they do like to rush in, so I'm a little bit surprised that none of the Swadian commanders thought it would be a good idea to charge in a lot faster. I suppose we do have quite a few Alephs now, because our vassals actually brought their Alephs as well. So that could be a reason why. Yes, that might explain it a little bit. Oh my goodness, okay, well, let's just take out all of the enemies and get some nice XP. And that will, of course, help our morale rather a lot, so I'm happy with that. And I suppose then we can head on to Teverin Castle if no other fiefs of ours come under siege. There we are. That was the first round, I suppose. And then we will be heading on to the second. So, 
There we are, 99 morale for that, 29 renown, very, very worth it indeed. And as you can see, he only has 529 remaining, we have 498 still. Okay, and we yet again have an amazing vantage point right here, so I suppose we can pretty much just hold position here. Let's just see what they decide to do. Oh, never mind. Okay, our LFs seem to be able to take them out very easily indeed. So, I think we'll be charging in our cavalry. Should we? Oh, wait, wait. We don't want to do that just yet. We want to make sure that we get a clear line of sight to the enemy before we do that. Let's get our archers on this little slope right here. That should actually help us out. Okay, now I think we can charge in. Let's do it, guys. Go, go, go. 191. Hmm. Okay. That should be fine. Oh, nice. Took out his horse in one fell swoop. And... Oh my, there is a lot of particle effects going on right here. Oh no. Take him down. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe I may have been able to take one of the darkness fortresses well, obviously not the ones that they originated from but the actual ones that they conquered from the Saranids I may have been able to do that hmm I'm actually just wondering now because our forces are very powerful indeed I may have been able to hmm well I will say that after we have taken Teverin Castle and if the Swadians decide to offer us peace then I will accept it and we'll try to go for one of the Army of Darkness thieves next time around. That would be quite fun, I think. Of course, if we lose all of our troops, then that wouldn't be very fun at all, but I suppose it would be fun at the time. And I could always, pretty easily, I suppose, get back our army. Although we do have a large amount of Templar Paragons, and... They are rather difficult to level up, so maybe we would have to fight a few bandits, or I would do that off-screen to save you the trouble, of course. But yes, that might be the best idea. Okay, well there we are, 29 renown once again, and 130. I don't really want to charge in versus these, but I don't really want to lose any forces that are very, very useful. So... I will just have to charge in with all of my cavalry. How many do we have? 53. We have 68 infantry. Wow. Okay. That's rather impressive. I wasn't expecting that many. In comparison to cavalry, that is. Okay, so we have 201 with us right now. I think we're just going to charge in our cavalry and infantry. We will place our archers on the hill over there. And we will take out that lancer, of course, because lancers are the bane of my existence. They do so much damage. And ouch. I might actually die. No, no, I'm okay. Okay. Thank you, Templar Paragons. You are assisting me very, very nicely indeed. Now let's just hope that I don't get a lance to the face right here. Oh, that was close. Okay. Have to be a little bit more cautious there, I think. Okay. Oh, this actually might spell my doom. I am going behind enemy lines. A little bit too eager, I think, maybe. Maybe? No, no. My horse is going to go down, but I am okay. Right? No. <laughs> no, I am definitely not okay. Am I okay? Who knows? We might be. Yes, okay. Phew, these aren't Swadian Grim Shields. I thought they were Swadian Grim Shields. That's why I was a little bit worried right there. But they were Swadian Royal Swordsmen. Not too bad for me to take on. Phew, okay. Not bad. And there we are. Okay, he did actually escape, which is always unfortunate, of course. But we do get to capture a lot of his units, and also take a lot of nice loot to sell. That is great. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I will cut away. I will go to Tyr, obviously, because it is the closest town. I will sell my prisoners and my loot, and then we will be at Teverin Castle. Okay, so we have arrived at Teverin Castle, and as you can see by the text box, we have a great host of enemies spotted near Tyr once again. So, 
I think we are going to have to head into Teverin Castle as soon as we potentially can, and then build our ladders. Go! We need to build them very fast before they assault something. Oh no. Yes, as you can see there, we have great hosts of enemies near Tyr and Praven, so we may be in for some rather extravagant battles coming up. Oh my. Okay, well, here we are. We should, in all theory, be able to take this no problem at all, but they do have two Alephs, I believe. Oh, if only I could use this catapult. Oh, Mountain Blade 2, where are you? <laughs> yes, it will be, oh my, ouch. It will be absolutely amazing to be able to use siege engines in the upcoming game. Well, that's a little unfortunate, isn't it? I was actually hoping to stay alive during this siege, but it seems as though the, the enemy Alephs did not have that in their plan for me. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, thankfully they are actually exiting the castle, so we should be completely fine to take this, no problem at all, and then we should be alive in the final phase, and we'll be able to slash a few enemies at that point. Oh my. Well, that is, yes, a little disappointing, I must admit. I was really hoping to survive this, oh well. Okay, it doesn't seem as though they ha actually have that many defenders right here. As you can see, look at this. The whole courtyard is, oh, well, they have a couple up the stairs there, but not much else. Yeah, wow. Okay, this seems to be very simple indeed. So I suppose maybe we wouldn't have even got in here because our LFs are completely destroying them at the moment. And our infantry are taking down their LFs, of course. And whoa, look at that. That sea of green icons right there. Oh, yes. That is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, it seems as though... Our two LFs are doing a great job over there, and that will be it. Yes, that was a very, very quick first phase. I was expecting something completely different, but obviously I was taken out in the process, so that is not exactly the greatest result. But I am thankful that our units know what to do without their leader present. Oh, yes. As you can see here, we only have three enemies remaining, I believe. He already has an arrow sticking in his back or his shoulder, technically. And another one once again. Wow, there we are. 29 renowned for doing absolutely nothing. Well, there we are. <laughs> That's, yeah, practically my job at the moment. I do absolutely zero and I get rewarded for it. Oh, yes. Okay, wait. Let's actually be careful here. We don't want to be taken out again, do we? Okay, so my shield is absolutely amazing, as you can see. Huh, interesting. Okay, come on, let's be careful here, come on. Oh, careful, yes, okay. Come on, we are against a wall, that is not good. That is not very good at all. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, now we can do some... S okay. Well, <laughs> I was shot by this fellow in the corner here. And now I have bugged out the camera. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am terribly sorry, everyone. I was really expecting to be able to actually do a bit of fighting in that particular siege, but it seems they had other plans. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can capture their forces. That is some consolation, I guess. Uh Oh well. Okay, so let's actually just take a look here. What do we want? Hired blades, I think. Yes. Mercenary cavalry, Templar paragons, and some female regulars. Not bad. Get some more loot. That is going to be good. Okay, so now that we have taken Teverin Castle, I will be waiting here for some time until it is automatically garrisoned. And hopefully no one will actually turn up to... Siege Praven or Tear, so I can only hope that that will be the case at least, and I'll end this episode off here, and next time, hopefully the Swadians will have declared peace with us, and then I will be heading down to the south here and maybe take Halmar from them. We will potentially try, and we will see how that goes. Well, 
Let's just hope they don't have an overwhelming amount of Alephs like they did at Axkar, that is for sure. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.